It doesn't matter whether or not they're the victims of society. The end result is they're about to knock my mother on the head with a lead pipe, shoot my sister, beat up my wife, take on my sons. To take them out of society. Away from my mother, your husband, our families. Lock the SOBs up. Mm, mm, mm. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. You guys already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Let's buckle in. Let's go. Yeah! All right, folks. What are we talking about today? What are we talking about today? Well, there's a journalist out of Philadelphia named Josh Kruger. Josh Kruger was a um, a journalist and an activist for the LGBTQ community. All right, loud and proud, and um, he's anti. Republican, he's anti MAGA, anti Trump, and he's very vocal about it. Okay, he was so vocal about it. So, anytime Trump will say something, he'll tweet it. You know, he'll tweet the opposite. Uh, any Republican say something about the crimes in the city, especially the city of, of Detroit, Philadelphia, he will come on the tweet and say, No such thing. We're making we're blown out of proportion. We'll make a big market. So, he's the one that says there's no crime. The crime numbers are fudge. We're making it up. And the conservatives are doing fear mongering. Okay. So the other day, the barbarian knocked on Mr. Kruger's door. Okay. And skinny pop pop and delete his ass. Okay. My question, what I want to know, what was he thinking the last 20 seconds of his life? Because they took him to the hospital later on he died so the ride to the hospital with seven shots in his body leaking wonder what's going through his mind wonder what he was thinking you know it's not funny you know i'm not making fun of his deletion but the irony is so tasty you know it's 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 the it's a tasty irony. I don't know what is going on. He talked about there's no the crime numbers is over uh, overreported. The Republicans are fear mongering, and then he gets deleted. Nobody knows who the person is. They still looking for him for the suspect. But this guy was a, a defund the police guy. Why should we look for the suspect? Police. He did not like the police. He said the homicide detectives were horrible and all this with the Philadelphia cops. Why do we need to solve his murder? All right, let it let it go. You know, go. What his tombstone is going to say? <laughs> right. What his tombstone is going to say? He believe what he believe. All right. So let it go. Don't even solve his mystery. Don't even solve his murder. I know his family probably do, probably want to know who shot him seven times. I know. Check this out, Mr. Josh Kruger. Check this out. I know it's not really a conservative that shot you. I know that. I know that. So, Mr. Kruger, I don't know what we're going to do on your behalf because, you know, since you didn't like the police... You want to defund the police? Should we? Should the police of Philadelphia solve your murders? Speaking of crime, right? There's another politician out of Texas. He was um, in D.C. and he too was a Democrat who was also a defund the police uh, um, campaign. He goes to D.C. and guess what happened to him? The barbarian came to knocking on his window of his car door. And carjacked him. Okay. Now, after he gets carjacked, just like the young lady out of Minnesota, he's coming to the camera and asking for more security. Now he wants to refund the police. Now he wants to 
uh, crack on crack on crime, crack down on crime, sir, sir. You got to see this all the way through, guys. All you Democrat politicians who had that, you know, defund the police mantra. You got to see this all the way through. If it comes knocking at your door, suck it up, buttercup, and keep it moving. Do not even talk about it. The funny thing about this one, the same thing as the Minnesota um, um, uh, lawmaker to describe the suspects, okay? The car of the color, the color of the car was black. The suspect clothes were black. But the race of the suspect, yeah, 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 no, he didn't see it. They didn't wear no mask. They had hoodies on, but they didn't, they didn't wear no mask. So they asked him what were the race, and he just went, da -da 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 -da. all right. So again, you too, defund the police. Why should we? Why should DC or any police department solve your crime? or the murders no 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 keep it moving you didn't care about us regular citizens in our beef with the um with the crime you didn't care about the illegals coming in doing crimes and going back over the border after they do crime you didn't care about that now that it happened to you or your family members you got to keep it going you got to stand strong and believe what you believe we don't want to hear it do not come on the social media and talk about doing the 180, okay? No, do not do that anymore. Do not come to the t uh, news cameras and saying the same thing. No, if a crime happened to you, if you get murked, shut it up and keep it moving, all right? But hey, the hell do I know? I'm just a driver over here, all right? Anyway, you wanna hear more content, hit that like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn that little notification bell on too. And then you get some more rants from me, all right? Thank you again, guys. I'll see you next time. Stay black.